Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Fundamentals of Information System. I'm Professor Mary Jean Folioso, your OLC Online Learning Coordinator. So right now, our topic is about extending the organization along the supply chain. So this lesson highlights the supply chain management systems to reduce the problems or friction along the supply chain that leads to increased time, costs, and inventories as well as decreased customer satisfaction. It presents how SEM utilizes information system. Learning outcomes at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to define and understand the terms supply chain, supply chain management. Second, discuss the basic components of supply chain management. Third, you're going to identify two major challenges in setting accurate inventory levels throughout the supply chain. Fourth, define the terms electronic data interchange, which is the EDI, extranet, and portal, and explain how each of these applications help support supply chain management. So what is supply chain? It refers to the flow of materials, information, money, and services from raw material suppliers through factories and warehouses to the end customers. It includes organizations and processes that create and deliver products, information, and series to end customers. So how about the supply chain management or the SCM? The function of SCM is to improve the way a company finds the raw materials it needs to produce a product or service and deliver it to, it, to its customers. That is, supply chain management is the process of planning. Organizing the various activities performed along the supply chain. We have five basic components of supply chain management. We have plan, source, make, deliver, and return. We have this push model. The push model production processes begins with a forecast, which is more of an educated guess to predict customer needs. So it delineates the way an organization's information resources should be used to accomplish its mission. We have this forecast, in mass production, and then we have salesperson and a happy customer. So we have here a pool model. So in pool model, products are made to order after a customer order is placed. From a customer order to a factory to a customer. So the IS support for SEM. So problems along the supply chain may include poor customer service, poor quality product, high inventory costs, loss of revenues, and new technologies. So those are the problems along the supply chain. So we have the possible solutions to supply chain problems. We have this vertical integration. 
Inventories. So just in time, inventory. Information sharing. So that's vendor managed inventory. And interorganizational information system, which is the IOS. So under this, so in interorganizational information system, it involves information flows among two or more organizations, like extranets, link business partners to one another over the internet by providing access to certain areas of each other's corporate intranets. And then how about this? EDI, which is the electronic data interchange. It is another very common solution. So the EDI is a communication standard that enables business partners to exchange routine documents such as purchase orders electronically. The benefits of EDI, you have or we have minimized data entry errors. Messages are more secure, reduce cycle time, minimize paper. So those are the benefits of EDI. And then the drawbacks of EDI, high initial cost to implement. Ongoing cost may be higher for virtual private network. And then how about the strategies for acquiring IT application? So the first strategies were acquiring IT application first, buy an existing application, up the shelf approach. Customize an existing applications can be costly. Lease an application. Okay, under this we have this application service provider or the software as a service. And then fourth, we have this use open source software. And then fifth, developing by so outsourcing from external contractors or organizations, developing an application in-house. And then another traditional software development life cycle. So when we say SDLC, the software development life cycle, it is the traditional systems developed method that organization use for large-scale IT projects. So steps within the SDLC. So they step by step. We have first the system investigation. Second, system analysis. Third, systems design. Fourth, programming and testing. Fifth, implementation. Sixth, operation and maintenance so the major advantages so we have three major advantages control accountability and error detection the major drawbacks or drawbacks relatively inflexible time consuming and expensive discourages changes once user requirements are done